Welcome to Sammy's Feast with Grana Padano DOP. If you love pie, you are going to love this galette. It's super easy to make with caramelised onion, tomato and lashings of Grana Padano DOP. First thing we're going to do is make the galette dough. We've got two cups of flour. We're going to add some cubed cold butter and a big decent pinch of salt. And now we're going to work that with our hands so the butter becomes almost incorporated with the flour. You still want some of those buttered chunks. That's going to make the dough really light and crispy and flaky. I love galettes. They're so easy to make and they're super delicious. And they actually look really impressive as well. So it's a great entertaining dish and you can actually make this galette a couple of days in advance. Just warm it up or serve it cold. Now the butter's nearly incorporated, so we want to add in a splash of water and bring that dough together a little bit more. Now to turn it out onto the board, I'm just going to dust a little bit of flour. And now we just want to press the dough together just to make sure it sticks and forms into a disc. It's actually faster and easier than going down to the shops. Okay, now that we've got it in the disc, I'm just going to grab some cling film, wrap it up, and we'll pop that in the fridge for an hour to rest. Now, while the dough rests, we're going to get onto our jammy onions, and it's super easy to make. You just need some sliced brown onion into a pan, some butter, and a decent pinch of salt. And now we're going to turn it onto a low heat, because we don't want the onions to caramelise. We want them to softly sweat and become really jammy. So while those onions are jamming, we're going to get onto our tomatoes for the galette. And I like to use a variety of tomatoes, ox heart tomato, a couple of regular vine ripened ones, and for a little pop of colour, I've got some yellow grape tomatoes and some cherry tomatoes as well. So we're going to chop the cherry and grape tomatoes in half. And the larger tomatoes, you want to cut into half centimetre slices. And I just love the inside of that beautiful ox heart tomato. Mmm, the ox heart tomato. To this, we're going to add some sliced garlic, lots of salt. And that's going to help draw out some of that moisture so that we don't have a soggy galette. All right, so those onions look great. I think we're ready to roll out and build our galette. So we've got our dough rested and it is very crumbly, so we're going to make it easy on ourselves. And we're going to use two sheets of baking paper and pop the dough in between and roll it out. And we want to roll the dough out till it's about three mils thick. And you can see the crumbly edges. It's going to be delicious and we're ready to start building the layers of our galette. So first thing we're going to do is grab our Dijon mustard, get about a tablespoon and spread that out. And then we pop on the jammy onions and they've cooked down a lot and it doesn't look like much, but it's plenty. And now next for my favourite part, the Grana Padano DOP cheese. We're going to grate a whole bunch of cheese over the onions and grana means grainy in Italian, which is a perfect description for this crumbly cheese. The umami flavours from the Grana Padano cheese go so perfectly with the tomatoes. So I'm going to put the larger tomatoes on the base first. I just want to make a few small cuts around the outside, maybe like 10 or 12, and that's going to help me fold over the edges neatly. Great, and now for an egg wash. The egg wash is going to give us a lovely toasted colour when it comes out of the oven. And now a little bit of cracked pepper on top. Onto an oven sheet. And into a preheated oven to 200 degrees for 50 minutes. Oh my goodness, this galette smells incredible and the colour on it is just beautiful. A final shaving of Grana Padano cheese, sprinkling of chives, and that's it. My tomato, onion and Grana Padano DOP galette.